Jom kita baca doa Nabi Musa. Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Wahai Tuhan ku lapangkan dadaku mudahkan bagiku segala urusanku lepaskan kekeluan daripada daripada lidahku supaya mereka memahami semua perkataanku Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so uh, today we will continue with our lesson. So today lesson is actually we will emphasizing on listening skill. And before we start, don't as usual don't forget to subscribe and click the bell symbol for more of my videos. Okay, stay tuned. All right. So we will start with listening skill. Listening skill is very important for uh, for everyone, I think, because why? Uh, okay, I'm sure you know uh, all basic four skills. However, based on the CFR and before that, eh, I'm sure everyone already remember what is CEFR. So CFR is uh, also known as Common European English Framework. Okay, so based on this uh, CFR, actually, um, there are six skills that you must learn uh, before you finish schools. Okay, uh, in our previous syllabus, uh, normally teachers emphasize only on four skills, which is uh, writing, reading, listening, and speaking. However, for CFR, since you guys are the first batch for the new syllabus, okay, so for CFR, um, we teachers and you students, so we have to emphasize and help you guys in uh, boosting up or leveling up your six skills. So what are those six skills? So uh, the first one uh, is still the same, which is reading skill. The next one is writing skill uh, number three is speaking skill number four is listening skill and number five is uh, language awareness okay language awareness before this uh, we know language awareness as um, grammar skill and the last one is LIA LIA also known as literature in action so those are the six skills that you must um master eh? before you finish schools school eh? okay next is uh, we will emphasize on listening skill for today okay so what is listening skill All right so eh? uh, listening is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process uh, so in other words here Mm, it's actually uh, sort of an ability that we have. We are born with this listening skill. However, listening skill is different for everyone. Not everyone possesses the same skill. Some have uh, a very good skill okay, in listening because they have a lot of exposure towards the, the language. Okay, I'm sure you know the difference between first language learner and second language learner. For our case, eh? for our case, me as the teacher and you as the students, we are the second language learner of English. So of course, our listening skill is a bit different uh, from the first language. Okay. So uh, normally we 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 have this kind of skill uh, during um, a lot of exposure towards the language itself. Okay. Uh, for example. Okay, uh, we watch a lot of movie in English. 
or we listen to English songs or perhaps um, we play games eh? now these games is quite famous eh? we play English games or we text in English okay uh, however for listening okay it it consists of uh, how you receive the information or how you receive the messages okay during your communication with others so listening is key all effective communication so without a proper listening skill you cannot have an effective communication so can you imagine uh, is a let us assume a uh, two person is having a communication a and b so a is speaking to b so can you imagine if a speak and b do not listen or cannot understand the information so will it will it be an effective communication i think of course not okay so without the ability to listen effectively messages are easily understood okay uh, so this is what you, what we will practice throughout the year eh? and um, with listening skill okay uh, you will be able to to have a very effective communication and at the same time with this ability if you develop it well okay uh, you can okay for 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 students eh, for students of the second language learner you will know that your listening skill has improved when you watch television okay especially english movies without any subtitle uh, i'm sure uh, at this very moment most of you eh, most of you my my beloved students still need to uh, switch on the subtitle eh? okay just to understand english movie or perhaps when you listen to english songs you still have to look at the lyrics only then you can understand because uh, that is uh, to show that uh, our listening skill is not that well eh? okay it, it, it's not that adapt to the language however we will know that our listening skill has already improved when we do not depend on subtitle anymore and we do not depend on the lyrics anymore we can just listen to songs or listen to movie without reading the subtitle or lyrics okay so our next slide is oops sorry okay next is types of listening skill all right so there are mainly three types of listening skill and this is the most common in interpersonal communication so what is interpersonal communication interpersonal communication is uh, you are having communication between one person okay with another eh? okay so the three uh, interpersonal communication are sorry the three types of listening are the first one is informational listening informational listening or also known as listening to learn eh? like what you are doing at the moment you are listening to learn to the lesson okay so this is what call or what is known as informational listening okay so uh, you listen to me as you watch the video and the main purpose is actually to gain information for education for learning purposes eh? that is what we call informational listening okay next is critical listening okay this type of listening is also important uh, especially when you are doing exercises or when you are when you will have your test later on okay before that do you know that you that in your spm next year okay for for our new syllabus you will have four different types of examination for your SPM before this there are only two papers am I right two papers for the old syllabus okay which is paper one and paper two but for your case there will be four papers paper one paper two paper three and paper four paper one namely reading tasks paper two is writing tasks paper three is speaking tasks and the last paper which is the skill that I am teaching you at the moment which is listening paper so then it uh, at that time is when you will use this 
second type of listening, which is critical listening. Critical listening also known as listening to evaluate and analyze. So this type of listening happen when you want to decipher or when you want to get the information or to understand a specific main idea or specific information that you can obtain from the text. Okay, this is when uh, there, are, there are a lot of information, a lot of words, there are a lot of sentences and then you listen just to gain the gist. Okay, to gain the gist, to gain the main idea of what the text or the information actually is. You, and then you evaluate and you analyze what is important. Okay, alright, so that is what we call critical listening. Okay, uh, from time to time, for, for, for our every classes, we will learn from one skill to another. And during listening skill, uh, I will help you to practice your listening skill to the extent that, that you will improve these three types of listening skills. And the third one is what we call therapeutic or empathetic listening. Okay, this one here, normally we practice this. Uh, the purpose is to understand feeling and emotion of others okay i give you a very simple situation to help you understand let's say you have a friend who is in need a friend who is sad a friend who is crying uh, perhaps because he or she has a lot of problems bottled up inside okay so uh, he or she that that person just now trying to express his or her feelings towards you eh? to share his or her problems eh? okay and then you just have to be a good listener where you listened and try to understand the emotion eh? try to understand the feelings that that person is trying to tell you okay so uh, with that action of trying to understand the feelings and emotion is what we call therapeutic or empathetic listening eh? yes okay or uh, the next situation is okay let's say eh, uh, my beloved students you have parents or you have teachers eh, in school or at home okay let's say your parents are angry with you okay when your parents are angry with you what your parents normally do hmm I wonder eh? <laughs> of course they will keep on shouting screaming at you okay because they are angry so of course you won't say much you have to listen to them getting angry at you so by listening to that feeling and emotion is what we call also what we call therapeutic or empathetic listening however the emotion is a bit different eh? the emotion is angry okay so that are the three types of listening skills all right so we move on to the next slide okay so the next slide is uh, this is what i want you to do eh? uh, because just now i've explained a little bit about what is listening skills okay and types of listening skill so next is what i want you to do is please open to page 12 on our new textbook okay so uh, here you will see listening task one so what I, need, what I need you to do is you will see phrases and these phrases are numbered from 1 to 10 and A until J. So these are the instructions and what you need to do. Eh? So first of all, you need to match the phrases from number 1 to 10. Okay, so what do you have to match with? You have to match, padankan, you have to match the phrases from A until J which have similar meaning so from uh, the phrases from number one to number ten uh, you have to match this with a until G eh? okay yes all right so uh, as long as it has different meaning okay as long as it has different meaning so uh, please match this eh? okay so you need to write the questions and answers in your exercise book you can also use online dictionary
to search for the meaning for the words that you don't understand in the phrases. Alright, eh? Okay. Alright, and if you have uh, things or if you don't understand what you, what you need to do for listening task 1, please WhatsApp me or you can use any social media, eh? social apps to contact me. Eh? Okay, alright. Next is, we move on to the next task. Eh? Okay, so the next task is uh, also on page 12 and this is listening task 2. So these are the instructions. Eh? Again, uh, in your textbook, you will see 8 phrases given. So uh, the phrases are about the person that you admire and their qualities. So what you need to do is, please copy all those 8 phrases in your exercise book. Just put a tick or cross. Eh? Tick is the symbol of this. Ding. And cross is... Ah, this is the symbol of cross. Eh? And based on the qualities eh, that you admire. So you have to choose uh, qualities that you think uh, have in the person that you admire. Please put a tick. Okay, so you can also choose all those eight, eight phrases or you can choose just a few. Meaning that you can choose uh, more than one quality. Alright, so and again, please write the phrases in your exercise book. Alright, so next we move on to page, uh, the same page, page 12. This is for listening task 3. Yeah? Okay, so uh, for task 3, after this, eh? after this, I will share with you um, five, uh, five different short recording. Okay, so this five short recording, or uh, also known as five short extracts, uh, this is in which people are talking about the person they most admire. Okay, so in this in this type of recording, eh, you will see that. Uh, these people keep on talking about what they admire. So, uh, what you need to do is, please copy this question, okay, and copy these phrases from, uh, from A until G, and the boxes there from 1 until 5. So, uh, in the boxes from number 1 until number 5, what you need to do is, uh, please take the phrases please choose eh? basically please choose the phrases from a until g and try to match okay with the number one until five so one stands for speaker one two stands for speaker two three stands for speaker three four stands for speaker four and five stands for speaker five Okay, don't worry. I will uh, play the recording after this. Make sure you listen very carefully. When you listen, you will on. Okay, you will practice eh, your listening skill, and uh, probably you won't hear the same words on the recording that you read in the list A until G. Uh, sometimes it is not the same word, but the word still has uh, the same meaning. Okay. Um, next is okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So without wasting any time. Okay. Please listen to the recording. Eh. All right. Unit one. Listening. Exercise three. Speaker one. The person I admire most is my aunt Linda. She's already busy with a family and a part-time job, but in her spare time she does voluntary work, helping an old man who lives in her street. Twice a week she visits him, does his laundry, makes his dinner and just has a nice chat with him. He says that he feels much more cheerful and positive about life since she started visiting him, and as well as helping him, it helps her too as they both really enjoy their time together. I'm thinking about starting voluntary work too, as my aunt Linda seems to get a lot out of it.
Speaker 2. I'm not a very confident person, and I'm not very good at making plans. I don't have the courage to invite people to things in case they don't come. But because of this, I often end up bored and frustrated because I haven't arranged anything. My cousin, though, has always been much more confident. She's always planning activities with people, and she gets so much more out of life. Tonight she's going out for the evening, this weekend she's visiting relatives, and next week she's going away on holiday with colleagues. She's always got something going on. I really must try to be more like her. Speaker 3 I really admire my uncle because he wasn't afraid to make big changes in his life. He had a well paid job in a bank. But his colleagues weren't respectful and used to gossip unkindly about him. He wasn't coping well, and in the end, he decided to do the one thing that he'd always wanted to do give up his job and travel round the world. At the moment, he's travelling through Africa, which he loves. He hasn't made any plans yet for what to do when he gets back next month. He says he's too busy having fun, and he'll worry about that when it happens. What a great guy! Speaker 4. My sister works in a busy office where her colleagues sometimes get really stressed, and because of that, they are always arguing or falling out. However, my sister, who's a manager there, understands why they get upset and tries not to criticise them. She makes time to discuss their problems with them and praises the people who work hard. She says it's just part of her job. But I think it's amazing that she can see past their bad behaviour and focus on the good parts of their personalities and what they do well. I'm really proud of her for that. Speaker 5 One of my friends had a bad time recently because some of his classmates decided to make trouble for him and accused him of stealing. He hadn't done it, so he had nothing to feel guilty about. But it was a few days until the police proved he was innocent. I really admired the way he dealt with it, though. I would have been miserable and terrified to go out, but he stayed calm and carried on with his normal life because he doesn't believe in worrying. I wish I had his courage. Okay, everyone. So we will stop our lesson with that today. With what I have explained. So I hope、uh, you have learned a lot today, or at least you have learned something. Valuable、uh, for you to use not just in the classroom but with your friends, with your families, or with your loved one. Okay, so、uh, this is what I want you to do and don't forget for all my classes. First of all, please make sure above here, please make sure you watch my video and please don't forget to subscribe and like for more of my videos. Next, number two, also don't forget. To fill in the attendance for every classes. It's really crucial.、Eh? Crucial means important, by the way. And number three, okay, don't forget to do the exercises. So I hope everyone will learn a lot、eh? and keep on learning English.